seems to add a bit of showbiz, doesn't he, Douglas McAdam? So we'll see. Nordin Benmo in the shoulder shot, the red gloves. And Diogo Neves, a little bit of height advantage on yes. Nordin. Yes, he has. This is going to be interesting. I don't know how Nordin's going to play it against him, whether he's going to go full whack. Looks the early knockout. Let's see. Round one, the league climax. He's Diogo. a tough fighter, Diego. Yeah, and he's moving away from the left hook, isn't he? Moving to his own left. Avoid that shot. Yeah, he studied him. Fought an absolute classic against Jiraiya two times, actually, but the first oh, fight was a... Wasn't it? Yeah, it's breathtaking. One of the best fights I've ever seen. You can see that on YouTube or... Um, have a look for it. Looking already for the hooks, Nordin Benmo. He threw a left hook, then grabbed the left hand and threw a chopping right hook as well. So quick. Good left hook from Diego. Just working at the moment, isn't he? Diego getting the feel for the ring. Yeah. And the move there, there Nordin Benmo, but that was a strong shot. Left hook to the body. What he'll do? He'll hurt you in the left hook to the body and then he'll come up with the right. It's already hurting Diego. Jogo's yeah. eyes are wide. Look how wide they are. Looks like a rabbit yeah. in the headlights. And he's starting to pull the elbow in slightly to cover the side. Then knows he's got the power. Beautiful. He's hurt Look by at that these shot. shots. He's a monster, Ben Mo. He really is. A quite unassuming character, but when he gets in the ring and puts gloves on, he's an absolute monster. He really has a Jekyll and Hyde personality in that way. The power is just immense. Yeah. Look how fast he grabs the right hand as well, Julie. The left hand Every and then time. throws the right hook. So sharp. Left hook, right hand over the top see that? each time. There we go. Beautiful. You can see he was in pain. The way he was holding his elbow in close, protecting him. What's the jumping knee back now? Ben Moe does that sometimes. Throws the jumping knee when he's hurt with the body shot. Survive this one minute. Spiteful, spiteful performance by Ben Moe. Look at those left hooks going in. So fast. Ben Mo is looking for that early stoppage to gain those points. Jumping Jump knee from Diogo. Big right hook. Tries his best. Standing in front of him, Ben Mo. Opening up. There's another shot. That was a good one as well. Diogo comes back with his own. Trying his best, isn't he? Perfect kick right on the same spot. Yeah. Do well to get out of this round. Diogo. Just walks you down, doesn't he? Ben Moen throws that left up, very left sided. Left hook, left body kick, yeah. right on the same spot. Left handed, I believe, Jules. Yeah, there he goes again. Gonna hit the liver. Get round that target. elbow. As soon as he gets round that elbow, Jules, it's finished. Diego's not silly, though. He's gonna keep that in tight. There, there it is again. Go. Right on the bell. Right on the bell, that. He right may survive. He's on the bell. He's going to have one minute. There we go. Yeah, the bell saved, saved, saved him. The bell, yeah. literally. On the 2nd of November, Enfusion brings you an exciting lineup from Antwerp, Belgium. Minus 63 kilogram Enfusion champion Sufyan Kadouri defends his belt against Hamza Sosi Esseli. Nordin Ben Mo faces Milan Pale in a contender fight. Ilyas Zugari faces Mohamed Boutassa. Youssef Chaluki battles against Redouan Lakoubi. Youssef El Haji stands against Yunis Smali. And Percy de Meyer faces Engin Kutu. Tune in for this action packed show on November the 2nd. You know, you can have a plan for Benmo, you really can. But when he touches you with the shots that he throws, 
His power is absolutely withering, isn't it? There's Red Ram Lakubi, who caused a massive, massive upset when he snatched his defeat out of the jaws against Mohamed Jarai. He's coming up later on against Saifan Oscar. Here's some of the shots, JK. He looks so sharp, doesn't he, Ben Mo? Yeah, definitely. I mean, earlier on in the early part of the round, Diego was just trying to keep busy. Then he felt the power of Nordin Benmo, and it was just too much. Dropped him down. Benmo has found his weak spot. He's working the left hook. He's working the left body kick. And he will be looking for that stoppage this round to gain the full point. Yeah. So coming up to round two, if you just joined us, welcome to Infusion. Here in Antwerp, we have a full packed arena and you can feel the tension here and anticipation about the league and our world title fight and our special bet we have tonight. Round two then, indeed, Julie, indeed. I'm sure Ben Mo only has that right side of Diego on his mind. Diego, man, right. Tough get this. Portuguese are tough fighters anyway when they come over. Diego Colado is an absolute monster. He'll be fine to let that, that right hand go, though, because yeah. it's going to expose the side. He's got to stay off the ropes, Colado, because that's where he gets caught. Moving round, scoring, but you know you know the thing is with Ben Mo, he's letting him score because he's got that get out of jail shot, hasn't he? Yeah, he's waiting patiently. This is where Diego is good. Moving around. When he opens up, you can see him hear the power difference. Sinking right yeah. into his side again, Ben Mo. I was told about Ben Mo a few years ago by Marat Direxi and he said he hits like a heavyweight and he's only 70 kilos. That was back then. And this is now in. He needs to step them ropes. Ben Mo throw, lands the left hook to the body better when he throws the uppercut first and lift the hands up in the elbow and then throw it underneath the floating rib or the liver. Yeah, he's really liking the left hook and then the right hook over the top straight away. He is being patient, Ben Mo. Beautiful. There you go. There See how it landed better, Julie, when he threw the uppercut first. It's a bit like the shot that Gennady Golovkin hit. Matthew Macklin with lifts the hand, hit the hands and then goes around the side. Big left hook again. Diego is wary of letting that right hand go. But he's still working, he's working the legs, he's mixing it up. You know, he's not giving him too much all his own way, all respect. Dangerous place for him to be, backing up on the ropes. Danny yeah, threw it. He needs to try the right side as well, Ben Mo. Just kick with his right kick to the body. Make Diogo move the other way and go into the left hook, you know? Yeah. Trying to make him go to his, his right instead, but they've followed a the plan. There you go again. You can hear that ringside, ladies and gentlemen. See the red link coming up on the side of yeah. Diego Nervous now. But he's scoring, isn't he, Diego, here? He's scoring the whole time. That's what I mean, he's not backing up, he's not, like, fighting to walk in. But he is wary to let that right hand go, and he's covering the side perfectly. And because Ben Mo's had a knockdown in that first round, Julie, he can, he can afford to do this, you know? It's another round. A better round for Diogo, but it was all the heaviness of Nordin Ben Mo. In Fusion 89, Wuppertal, a night of top level kickboxing. It's going to be one you have to watch. Do not miss it. Oh, a knee to the face. As is Gala takes on Marcel Verhaar. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Georgina van der Linden defends her Infusion World title against Christina Morales. That was nice. Very nice. That oh, is good my shot. Goodness.
He's out. Marvin Montero takes on Bilal Lukili. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Power shot going in. Andre Brule fights against Diego Freitas. This kid is sharp. Andy Samalier versus David Armanini. Oh, it's called the Gracious. Well tight latching. A rematch for the minus 95 kilogram infusion world title between Mohamed Bukhari and Moises Porte. And the fight of the evening, Edie Ruiz takes on one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, Tafen Ozkan. Oh, it goes down. Watch it live in Wuppertal, Germany on the 26th of October. Yeah, so don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, also on November the 11th, we have an absolute another scorcher. We have some new names coming through. In the background there is Mohamed Jaraya. He'll be up against Yassi Betar and Jafar Wilness, which won his world title against Luis Tavares. So, yeah, as I said, November the 11th is going to be another scorcher. We'll tell you about that as we go through. Yeah. Like, here's the action from round number two, Ben Mo. Looking to deliver those big shots again. Diego was playing a good game plan there. He was keeping busy, moving, trying to land the shots. The power difference we can see, but Diego is working well on the point. So we'll see. Can he survive that left hook? Yeah, November the 11th from Amsterdam, we have a scorcher as well. I'm going to tell you about that later on. Time is going very, very quickly. Ooh. Round three then. Diogo, I believe, needs a knockout, really. You know, as I said earlier, I'm sure Nordin Ben Mo is looking for the early stoppage so he can gain four points to add to the leaderboard. Can be vulnerable, though, Ben Mo, as well at times, you know? But he looks confident here as he pushes Diogo back. Yeah, Diego's back on his back foot, but he's working the whole time. He, he just he doesn't seem to stand his ground and push his opponent back. Oh, that, that was one sweet. Hurt. Throws that so fast. Left hook, right up, got left hook. The redding on his body, June, that's just from punching. Yeah. And those left kicks. <laughs> He's got a slight cut on the bridge of his nose, yeah. Diego. Yeah, he has. So, uh, ben, now, Ben Mo could kick here, right low kick, get him back into the corner so he could start throwing his combination of punches again. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that was a nice combination. Very fast. Good eyes. Slings the left hook in, just walking down. That hurt him as well. Did you see that one? Yeah, he took a deep breath. That really hurt him. You know, Diego's not silly. He's moving the correct way. He's Tough trying kid. to move away. Halfway through, or just over the third round. Ben oh, like no wants the points. He needs a knockout here. If he wants the points, get himself up in the, in the board. Menacingly coming forward all the time. Can't do anything to defeat. You know, he must have watched Ben Mo hundreds and hundreds of times. You know, knows that he throws the left up, knows his combinations, but it's yeah. when you feel the dig on it that it makes you change your mind, you know? It's a different story when you're in there, isn't it, receiving? Yeah. Mike Tyson said that, didn't he? Everyone's got a plan until so you get punched in the face. So, so the they left hook again to the body. Diego making a good account of himself, but then they really bustles him back, back into that corner. Parkway mad here, last 20 seconds, and he starts on and kicks off. That was a good shot from Diogo, but his right hand and clean on the chin of Ben Mo. Good right hook back from him himself. Strong jab from Ben Mo. Spinning back fist from Diogo. Cut, nose, blood running down his face. 
Should have done that oh, earlier. There we go. Very, very impressive Goodbye. performance. Like the Yogo, you know, making his debut on, on Infusion Jules. In the Infusion League. Yeah. I think we've seen him before. I'm not sure if it was on the live show, but um, great sim tonight. Portugal number one. with them though. So we'll see, here's some of the combinations. It was a great, brave performance, wasn't it, by Diogo? Definitely, yeah. he was trying to keep busy. He was being bustled from basically rope to rope, corner to corner, but he was working the whole time. Bemo looked extremely powerful tonight, landed sweet shots like that. Diogo super fit, just absorbing them. So here we go, fighters to the centre. That was Nordine Bensmo, last fight in the Infusion League, only in the Infusion League. Tonight is the last night, the 72.5. A great performance by Ben Mo. The left up to the body is absolute, you know, it's, it's disgustingly oh, strong. I hate to take one. I want to hit us. I bet he wanted to hit us last year, didn't he? <laughs> Pardon? He wanted to hit us last year. Not me. Never mind. Here's a decision from Douglas McAdam. So, ladies and gentlemen, after three amazing rounds of action, our judges have reached the decision in favour of your winner. In the red corner, Norden Ben Mo! Well, winner by point. Yeah, you know what? A Nordic Ben Mo is going to be in action 